I'm not a strict parent. Our children are spoiled. Our rules are really basic. It's pick up after yourself, do your one chore a day, and participate in school, participate in an extracurricular, whether it be flute, boxing, football, whatever it is. Every child is individual. Some kids have to maintain 70s, some are 85s, and some are 90s. Every child is different, and that's definitely the way they're treated in this home. That's truly the only rule of this home. Steven can't be told what to do. That's the main problem. Steven admits he has some behavioral issues, but claims that Buck and Stephanie overreact to every little thing. He says most of his bad behavior is just that of a typical teen, and he hated living in Buck's house because of his strict parenting that included grounding him for months at a time. If my mom showed up here tomorrow, I don't think I would go with her. If she told me that things would be different, I would maybe consider it. Only if things are going to be different when I go back. Like, not just being all about disciplining us, being able to have fun sometimes, not just be always serious, even when we're doing good. Whenever we do just something small, they, like, take it out of proportion, and then they blow it out of the water, basically. One time I was disrespectful to a teacher at school, and I ended up getting grounded for a full month. I used to have anger issues. I have some anger outbursts, but it's not as frequent as it used to be. But I do think Buck has anger issues. He gets mad very easily and yells a lot. My mom and Buck argue a lot, and that makes me want to fight with Buck and with my mom whenever I'm grounded for something that I really shouldn't be grounded that long for. It kind of makes me want to fight against them. It was just getting tiring, and I just didn't want to be there anymore. I feel like most of the stuff I do is actually just typical teenager stuff like having an attitude, being slightly disrespectful, smoking weed. The gun incident, I was just playing around. Mom and Buck weren't home and we were just all at the house by ourselves, and I was just trying to like scare them. But I knew that once I did it, it was wrong and I wish I didn't do it because it was just kind of stupid on my part. Mom and Buck kind of took it out of proportion like they do with most of the things. I really like where I'm at right now. It's just, whenever I go to New York, it just feels like a bad vibe because I don't really like living with Buck and my mom. I feel like me and my uncle have a special bond and I really like it here because my uncle has been here for me my whole life and my mom really hasn't. Well, you're not seeing Steven's face for a reason and that is because I, if, if you watch uh, at all, you know that I do what I can to protect kids' identity and faces. Uh, he's joining us now on the phone. Listen, there's no question that you've, you've not had a, a typical childhood, and you're old enough now to start being responsible for your choices and for the behaviors because the consequences start landing on you pretty hard. Yes, sir. And if you have anger issues or anger blow-ups, whatever you call them, and you need help with that, then you need to take that help. You need to get professional help with a therapist or whatever, so you don't make some choices that wind up really backfiring on you. Every time I go do therapy and stuff, I just feel like it's always the same and it never really works. That's up to you to take those tools and create value. Yes, sir, I understand. It's just like a coach. They can tell you what to do on the football field, but they can't catch the ball for you. What do you want to get out of therapy? Um, really just being able to control myself when I get start to feel angry and stuff and just, like, control my impulsive, like, decisions that I make. Sometimes I just do stuff without thinking about it. Well, that's a very manageable thing, and you are coachable. I mean, you're you're doing well in football, right? Yes, sir. Then you are coachable. <clears throat> and if you can be coached in one thing, you can be coached in, in another. Uh, you say that your mom and Buck don't listen and blow everything out of proportion, uh, especially Buck, uh, but you have to understand that Buck has uh, priorities as well. He's just got in custody of his children, and he has a duty to keep chaos out of his home to those children as well. And things like the incident with the belt and the gun, those things just are not acceptable at any level, and you know that, and you knew it after you did it, right? Yes, sir. Hey, do you have a story or question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what it is. You might end up right here on the show.